Hello, hello, my wonderful people. It is uh, another time again that I'm here to drop something good. I'm sorry. I've been promising again and again, but I've not been able to record the video. So here it is that uh, we have another time and opportunity again to be in the market. So this strategy here i don't think i've ever done this before but it is a very simple strategy nowadays i just simplify what i'm using so that it helps me not to clog my window with so many indicators but still at the same time i've realized that the few the the the, the few indicators they are the more precise my strategy will be and the more uh i can be concentrated more like I can take solid trades instead of having a very many, you know, indicators on my window. So this time, it's still on, of course, you know, I'm so much on catching spikes. I don't like uh, scalping. So on my main chart, I have this red line here. I have uh, the Bollinger Band at default, that is uh, 220. I'll show you the settings. The blue line is moving average EMA 200. Okay, moving average EMA 200. And then this indicator window one is a TDI. Is a TDI for those who are in the Telegram channel, you know where to get it. You go to the file section and then you download a PDF for the mobile. And then there is the indicator for desktops. Okay, so this is a TDI. And then down here, it's two windows in one. You place the stochastic window and take the stochastic levels. Just put level 90, level 50, and level 10. And then the other two lines for the indicator on the stochastic, you leave it as blank, same as the background color. And then this other line, sorry. So this other blue and red line is the is an envelopes okay so let me repeat again on the main chart we have on the main chart we have the moving average 200 period 200 shift zero method exponential apply to close you can always take a screenshot of this okay and then we come to the bollinger bands period 20 deviation to apply to close that is the Bollinger Band on the main chart. And then uh, this window here is the TDI on the setup window. And then we come now down to this one here. So this is the stochastic window. Okay. You can just ignore this. You can ignore this because we need just the window alone. You can ignore this. You are not using it. Even the colors are black. So what we need is just the stochastic window and these levels. Okay. 10, 90, and 50. That is on the stochastic window. Okay. And then also the envelopes. This one here. So the envelopes is default as well. Here. Period 14, shift 0, deviation, 1.100. Method simple apply to close. Okay. If you, if you just click this set to default, it will bring these settings automatically. So that's it for our indicators. So the moving average 200 on the main chart is specifically to, to show us or uh, to help us with trend direction. Okay. It, it helps us with trend direction. The moving average 200 on the main chart so if you want to catch very good spikes like for booms let your trend let your chart be above the 200 okay let it be above if it is below you will catch the spikes here according to your strategy but the spikes will not be long enough and they will always be struggling so the better part always it's either like this when the moving average is below us yeah or if it is close sorry for that i need to put my okay 
So if 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 it crosses and the trend is not strong enough, the spikes will still come in a good way. But after it's crossed for a long time, know that the spikes will be struggling if it is below this. So for booms, let it be above. For crashes, let it be below. Okay, the moving average 200. That is the sweet moments always to catch the, the spikes. But again, if you can check, this is a boom 500. So 500 mostly do not trend for long. So you will catch spikes even if it is below. But what you need to see at this moment is the spikes will come but they are small. Okay, the spikes will come but they are small. Come even and see how the, the TDI here is behaving. It is on a straight line. So it's telling you sort of ranging market, yes. So here you are seeing it's going down. So the TDA is saying ranging market, yet the trend at the top is telling us it's going down. So it will always spike, yes, but it will be struggling, you see. It will always spike, but it will be struggling. So how do we use this strategy? How I use this strategy is uh, for booms, this red line should touch level 10 okay and for crashes the blue line should touch level 90 that is one requirement the second requirement let the moving average 200 be within your window like you can be able to see it like this place here okay yeah so by the time it was it was reaching down here down here I was not seeing the moving average within my view. So I would tend to believe that this trend is a bit strong. So I would not take this kind of trades here. Okay. But where do I take the trade? I will take a trade if it's coming to retest now like this point here. Okay. If it's coming to retest the second time. When you drag, can you see? So it was touching currently. But our moving average is way far above us, okay? So if it passes this point, uh, I will let it shift to come and retest that. So this would be my entry point. And why I would place this as entry point is because my TDI is sort of on a straight line, yeah? Sort of on a straight line. As much as at the top the trend is going down, but here I will still place comfortably like the TDI is not very squeezed. Okay, what does a squeeze TDI mean? It means the trend is very strong. So in this point here, our trend as much as it is going down, the, the indicators here are showing us that it is not strong. So I would place here as it's coming to retest. Okay, as it's coming to retest level 10. Let's see. See? Yes, the spikes will come, but since we are below, it will struggle. Yeah? I think you've seen that practically. The spikes will come, but since we are below, it will struggle. So you need to watch when the spikes are coming when we are below moving average 200 and when we are above moving average 200 and then make your make your own personal decision whether you want to catch spikes when you are below 200 or when you are above 200 okay the spikes will come but they will always struggle you see so uh after this first small spike came my next point that i would check is when it is coming to this uh, as it is coming to touch down the TDI as it is coming to touch down there see there see it didn't even touch the blue line okay so this as long as the TDI is on a straight line like this, always anticipate that as it comes to touch the lower line, it will always spike. So even if you missed this because it was on a, on a like strong downtrend, if you missed the first spike, yeah, after this trend strength has been broken, watch the second one. The second spike there. 
okay and why i'm sure that the second spike will come is because uh the tdi didn't get very squeezed like we were not on a very strong trend okay when the tdi is squeezed it tells you the trend is very strong so don't even waste your time trying to catch spikes but in this scenario our tdi was wide open like we are relaxed like sort of a ranging market yeah so after the first spike came if you if you miss the first spike here and we are in this kind of setup the second one will for sure come that i know so let's continue let's check the the next one now we are waiting for our lines here to come and touch level 10 but again you can refer to my former video of how to use the tdi to catch the spikes you see it's coming to retest the market baseline all this are retesting the market baseline but i'll still do an advanced video for how to use the tdi to catch the spikes so for now we just wanted to focus on this okay so well some of these strategies they really work but it will be for one spike okay but when you advance and start using the tdi you see this you will always be catching the trend continuation yeah because you see at this time our envelopes was not at our entry level so it was in the middle so of course if you are using the envelopes alone you will find that you know you're missing a lot of spikes on the way but if you're using the tdi the market baseline yeah if you're using the tdi the market baseline you would have been able to get all this okay so where is my entry point and where is my exit especially when i'm using the tdi itself my exit is always you see the green line on the tdi as it's coming to cross it back into the middle like around this place as it's crossing back that is where i always exit because sometimes yes you may want to ride with a trend but you don't know how long the trend will go yeah you might not be able to know how long the trend will go so my my real 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 exit when i get like from the beginning of the trend at this point i would come by the time the pink and the green lines are crossing that is when i exit okay so of course that was a long uh trend to ride well one thing again you need to accept in the market is that uh, you may not be able to catch all the spikes only take the spikes that meet your criteria okay take the spikes that meet your criteria and um if you're going to to, to pick like this strategy make sure you stick by it and uh, i always tend to take one indicator and add the tdi because both of them will give me the exact point of entry like for one spike and run but the tdi will give you the second option of if you're picking it from the market baseline it will always give you more spikes you can check that even on m5 if it's coming to retest the market baseline on m5 those spikes will always be very long let me show you practically what i mean here we come so check this point here so it reverses at the bottom and then as it's coming back like it wants to to cross the green line again it it reacts from there and then now the trend goes up so it might be the market baseline or the green line if they are near each other okay if they are near each other it might be the market baseline or the green line so let's check another one that is retesting from the market baseline check this here it's retesting from the market baseline yeah this retesting from the market baseline 
check this again here retesting from the market baseline from here to here all the way so if you're using m5 make sure again you stick to m5 like when the pink line is coming to cross the red back into the bollinger band that is your exit point okay so for this uh, scenario here you could have gotten all this you could have drawn with it because you see the, the the place that it crosses is around this point so if if m1 would not work well for you just shift to m5 and for m5 you will not get like very few setups you can get like four or between four to six in a day throughout the four currency pairs but i'm telling you like if you would get this from here and close here if you had put good uh, capital management this would have been able even to get to earn you like a uh, half of what your account is if you had, you know if you really know how to manage your finance as well and you will get these setups like four to six times in a day okay you will get this kind of setups like four to six times in a day so what do you check if you are on if, if you are on m5 this line should be across the moving average 200 should be across you okay like it should not be on a trending market it should be on a ranging market for you to get proper spikes yeah it should be on a ranging market so let's continue let's continue this one here again it was retesting the market baseline the middle of the bollinger band okay so anyway you just check or oh, the m5 you see all this all this is starting from the middle all this starting from the middle you see here it showed a lot of signs that it wants to go up this was trend reversal a lot of rejections a lot of rejections and uh, on our tdi it is on the middle market baseline okay so all this should have really shown you that we are ready to reverse. So if, if you had caught your, your trend from this place, you would have rode with it like for a whole four hours plus or three hours. Yeah, from here. All these candles, they are each five minute candle. So this was not less than two hours. And this one you would have collected more than uh, between 150 to 200 pips very comfortably yeah so always uh, begin with a trend because the trend setup is what will give you such setups like you you, you aspire now let's get back to m1 so that we go back to our strategy because today i just wanted to do the envelope strategy you see this point so every time it touches like there let's see as it touched this was a point for placing a trade you may want to know why because the blue line if by the time the red line is touching level 10 the blue line is at level 50 and our TDI is relaxed. Okay, our TDI is relaxed, not very strong trend. And our moving average 200 is cutting across the screen. Then that is a very proper time to place your trade. And from there, there comes a small spike. Let's wait and see if another one will come. There you go okay so what are the requirements the blue line should be at level 50 not so much below when it is so much below it tells you the envelopes itself is very squeezed and if it is very squeezed you will also see 
the TDR is very squeezed to mean the trend is very strong. But at this moment here, you see by the time the red is reaching 10 and the blue one is reaching level 50, it tells you we are sort of arranging market like that. You see this white space between, this white space between, it tells you that, you know, we are in a sort of arranging market, not very squeezed, not strong trend, okay? So if the red line is touching level 10, the blue line should be touching level 50 and our Bollinger band for the TDI should not be very squeezed. It should actually be on a straight line like this. And at that time, let your moving average 200 with, be within your view. Okay, be within your view like we are not on a very strong trend. So, you see, this is where it touched. Here, yeah, that is where it touched. And then small spike, then a big spike. Okay, let's go again. When it shifts, did you see what happened there? So it was almost touching. And then all of a sudden, as it was touching, it shifted. So when it shifts, I, I, I've covered in some of my videos earlier. When, when your main indicator now, which in this scenario is this envelope so that we are using. When your main indicator shifts... It tells you that the market is still ready to go in that direction for a while because the, the envelopes will still cover that space until it reaches level 10, okay? So when your indicator shifts and you are ready to place a trade, please don't wait until when your requirement will be met again. Or if you're already in the trade, you better close it and then wait for the next opportunity, okay? So if your primary indicator shifts, it means the market will still come and cover that space that has been created. So the market will still go in the opposite direction. Okay. So there you see it's almost touching. And then it shifted. You see? So when it shifts, be very careful and get out of that market until when at least it will touch again. You see? So... There are two things that happen. When it touches, one is that it will spike. Two is that if it was not ready to spike, it will shift. So if you had already placed and then it shifts, you better close. But if you place and then it does not shift, then it will spike. Okay. I think I've made that clear. So here again, we are touching. Look here. At this time, we've bypassed the level 50. But our moving average 200 is not way far above us. So for me, the next trade, and you, you see the TDI here is a bit of relaxed, not very squeezed. So for me, this next trade would be 50-50, you know, just like I place. If I get, I get. If I don't, I'm willing to let my five-minute candle stop loss, yeah? And why I'm doing that is because this first spike has already come, like to sort of break the strength of the trend. Okay, so I would place the second one simply because, again, our TDI is it's coming to touch the blue line. Yeah, as it's coming to touch the blue line. So let's see if we will win. You see, so it went against us. That is why I told you it is very necessary to have rules in place like if you're going to put a stop loss of five minutes let it be five minutes and did you see th this was the point after some time our main indicator shifted so let's see so you see it's touching it shifted so by the time it shifted here as i told you I would have been willing to let my five minute candle stop loss. But the moment it shifted, it showed me that it's not ready to spike. So I would have left the market. And this was probably around three to four candles stop loss. Okay. So, of course, uh, scouting for spikes is not always like this is the place that it will spike. You know, you're just trying to look for points where it had like. Uh, it had former resistance, it had spiked before, or 
our main indicators are showing oversold or overbought and the trend is ranging those are the points where we try to cut spikes but it's not that our approximation will always be 100 percent yeah so in this scenario here we would have been able to let like three to four minutes candle stop loss because our primary indicator at the bottom shifted so we should have closed our trade and left the market until at least when it came and touched again there you see when it came untouched again so this time round i would be now a bit uh, careful because you see even our tdi has somehow started going really below what i always mean is if you find the blue line of the bollinger as well on the tdi is below 50 the same way this below 50 for the envelopes below 50 it tells you that the trend could be very strong at this time so in such a scenario you better wait until the strength of the trend is broken and at this point yes our moving average 200 is above us so what do we really expect when the moving average is above us it means the spikes will come but they will be very small like struggling okay it's like you are trying to trade against the trend and you see all that and then a spike comes and it's a small one okay you see a spike comes and it's a small one so yeah they came two more but very small of course let's continue let's see is it coming you see so many other spikes here but they are all struggling because they are below like, moving average 200 okay so let's continue and see there so th at this point here at this point here especially after this first spike i would have gotten the confidence as much as my indicator is not touching level 10 but i would have known like if if you follow my teachings from various other videos you see where it's spiked here it's level 30 the tdi this pink line which is the rsi 14 spiked at level 30 and while it was spiking at level 30 it it was coming from a place that is not a very strong trend you see not very strong trend it is just a few candles and then it's spiked. So in this ranging market kind of setup, I would have placed an uptrade knowing that we, were, we had been so ready for reversal from this point, but we were struggling all in between. Okay, so this was like still breaking the trend. The trend, of, you know, the, 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 the strength of the trend has already been broken by this ranging market here. So if it's spiked at level 30 here and we are almost at my zone, you see like the blue one was just almost there. Then I know that more spikes will come. There you go. There you go. And come even and watch where it's spiked on the TDA. It was at the blue line, the blue Bollinger Band at the bottom. Very exact. Yeah, very, very exact. So let's continue. There, we are almost, you see, we almost reached again and then it's spiked. So in this kind of setup, you see the same level that it was showing previously, the blue one was almost at the same time and it spiked and the down one was almost at our place again why this setup also was so sweet is because see how our tdi is behaving very wide very wide so there is no way whatsoever that the trend will still go against you okay so you've reached your overbought or your oversold level the tdi is very wide yet our moving average 
200 is cutting across us. So those are three scenarios that you are meeting. And you see there, it's spiked. Yeah. So let's see again. There it's touched. By the time it's touching, our blue has temporarily crossed level 50. Our TDI is wide, though not very wide. So a spike might come, but it will not be a long one. Okay. A spike might come, but it will not be a long one. You see? I told you so. It might not be a long one. Why? You see, the, the, the trend has been like trying to... try. I don't know how to, to put it. You know? But the essence here is, it was all clear. Because even our blue line here, it crossed level 50 going down. Yeah? But after the first spike has come... It might have broken the strength of this trend. So let's see. There again it's touching. But this time around, check your blue here. It's crossed level 50. And even here it's crossed level 50. And here 200 is above us. So it's, it's, it's kind of 50-50. You see, it's coming, yes, it came, but still, it touched at the bottom here, the blue line. It touched at the bottom, and the two spikes came. So, it worked in our favor, though, uh, still very small spikes. Let's check a scenario where we are above moving average 200. Okay. Where we are above moving average 200. This point. This point here. Unfortunately most of the time. By the time we are reaching. Uh, we are mostly ranging on above 200. You will always find that. The envelope is not touching our level 10. Okay. So that is the unfortunate bit. But. The essence here also is to, if you know how to ride with a trend, then using 200 would be the best option ever. The best option ever. Okay. So that's it for today, guys. I know this tutorial might not be very solid, but I've touched mostly on two things. I've touched on the TDI and how to use maybe this envelope and where to practically apply the moving average 200 to show you the trend whether you're on m1 or on m5 okay guys and um so happy trading and uh, have a peaceful weekend because we are heading towards the weekend and at least i'm now back to the market and we'll keep on trading together i'll i'll start officially again sharing the materials as i used to share before many tutorials in video forms like maybe twice a week or so but mostly i will share even the indicators that i have so that's it guys god bless you and happy trading